In the last video, we discussed the basic concept of earned value project management and how to calculate the cost and schedule performance indices. In this module, let's look at some other project performance indicators that can be calculated knowing plan value, earned value, and actual cost. The CPI and SPI snapshot tell you where you currently are, but we can also calculate variances for cost and schedule. Earned value minus actual cost shows the cost variance. Positive is good, it means more value has been produced than it costs to accomplish the work. A negative value indicates the opposite. Subtracting the planned value from the earned value gives you the schedule variance. Since planned value is an expression of time in dollars, positive schedule variance is good. It shows more value earned than planned. You can also calculate the estimated cost of completion, or EAC, based on the current project status. EAC is the total planned value, also called the budget of completion, divided by your current cost performance index. At any point in the project, you can calculate your CPI and divide it by your total project budget to estimate cost of completion. If your total budget is $1,000 and you've got a CPI of 0.9, you can estimate a budget of completion of just over $1,111, a 10% cost overrun while a CPI of 1.05 indicates a total cost of $952. This means a gold star for bringing the project in under budget. Finally, you need to know how much of your reserve to transfer to the project budget, which means you'll need to calculate the cost to complete, or CTC. Look at the percent complete of the project as a whole. In this case, 50% of WBS items are complete. Using our $1,000 budget, we have an earned value of $500. If our actual cost is $600, we have a CPI of 0.83. We calculate our estimated completion and the CPI divided by the budget, or planned value, which is equal to $1,204. We've already spent $600, so we estimate it will cost $704 to complete the project. In your risk management plan, you've identified potential risks to schedule and budget, and strategies to get the project back on plan. Determining the current status of the project using earned value gives you a risk strategy trigger, which you've identified in your risk plan. You need to schedule your earned value calculations so that they allow you to control the project, but not so often that you either overcorrect or spend too much time tracking a tactical activity instead of planning a strategic activity. If your project duration is only one month and you only look at your progress once a week, your project could be half over before you calculate earned value and discover you're so far over cost that you'll never recover and have no reserves. For a project of six months, once a week will be a good place to start, but you need to be able to adjust based on the current status of the project. For instance, if your SPI chart is within 5% either side of plan, you may choose to take no corrective action. But as the SPI starts to go over 5%, you should adjust the measuring period to a shorter duration or in order to have more control over project execution. Setting thresholds at 5 and 10% for EVM calculation periods and risk triggers allows the project manager to not only report project status, but also what actions are being taken to get the project back on track and why. In the next video, we'll talk about how to measure completion percentages to ensure accurate earned value calculations.